Hello everyone, my name is John Melisondra and today I'm gonna teach you how to paint this wonderful painting by only using Lumino Tolos May palette and don't forget to subscribe if you have to subscribe yet and please don't forget to hit that bell button if you want to know my latest videos in the future Before I'm going to start the tutorial, I'm going to introduce to you first the materials that I'm going to use. So I still be using limited colors my palette and I have here the titanium white, the hollow blue, the brilliant red, the medium yellow and the raw umber. So I'm using limited colors because I want you to learn to mix and get the desired colors you want. Okay. And these are the possible brushes that I'm gonna use in this tutorial. I have here the number 12 nylon flat brush, long handle. Number 10 um, bristle flat brush, long handle. Number 8 nylon flat brush long handle I also have here the number 8 um, nylon flat brush short handle and I have here the number 1 liner brush for the details you can also use zero, double zeros and triple zeros okay so those are just the possible brushes that I'm gonna use in this tutorial not sure if I'm gonna use all of it and this my canvas it's 12 by 16 inches it has 3 coats of prime white acrylic and also use gesso I made it myself and we need water to thin the paint and water spray if we're gonna need to wet our canvas and it will be easier for us to blend the colors okay so those were the materials that I'm gonna use for this tutorial and and today I'm gonna start painting now and I'm gonna paint a landscape so it, it, it will just be a basic landscape but I'm gonna try to paint um, some hills or some leaves or uh, whatever uh, typical landscape that we can paint now and I'm not sure what will be the outcome of this tutorial so this all come from imagination from my imagination and I'm gonna do my best to make this as realistic as possible and as fast as I could okay so first we're gonna do a little sketching so that we have some guides so to whatever we're gonna paint today so it's very important everyone so you should we should do some planning first before we're gonna start and I have here then um, so a raw umber with white so I'm mixing white to the raw umber for the sketching so I'm gonna use a grayish color I'm using this grayish color because um, I do not want to have dark paints for my sketch so I want gonna use lighter paints so that I it, it I can easily cover it with other colors like yellows yellows are really thin and red so this will be easy for yellows to cover if you're gonna use um dark colors you can have you're gonna find it hard to cover it with, with lighter ones okay so here So I'll be putting a heel here. There. Ah, uh, three on the center. Yeah, let's put a tree here. Ah, uh, there. Mountain, small mountain here. With. Um. Wait. I'm gonna do it this way. With a little pathway. Then uh. A tree here, then another mountain here with a little tree here. Okay. Then this will be my horizon. Then some mountains here some bluer mountains and I'm gonna put the light here from the Sun it will be very bright and this part will be dark so I'm gonna so I'm gonna put uh, some some rivers here decent rivers and some mountain yeah I'll just put it later I think I'm gonna do it. Yeah, 
I'll put uh, another tree here so par some parts of the mountain will be covered. Okay, so I'm gonna start. So this is my I'm gonna use first the number 12 pot brush and I'm gonna do it as fast as I could. So here I have some white and blue. So we're gonna do the sky first. I'm gonna need some um, plenty of white. So this will be an earning, uh, sorry, earning at earning morning. This will be a morning um, scene. I'm gonna put a little red and blue to make some purple and white more white so I'm gonna put my light here so I'm gonna put more white I'm gonna make the sky as bright as possible yeah so I think I'm going to I'm gonna skip putting some clouds there because because um, anyway, I'll we'll just cover some parts of the of the sky. So putting adding clouds will be. Hmm, I'm gonna think that later. So I'm gonna need more white. So we're gonna blend it well, really, really well. So careful with your brush, because my brush have some red in it. So that's why it's it's mixing on my brush, and it turns my sky a little reddish or purple, but it's fine for me. So I have another sky. Okay, so next we're gonna do the mountains, of course. So I'm gonna use the raw umber. Oh, no, sorry guys, it's not the raw umber, but the blue. I am using the ultramarine, so it's a little different than the tallow blue and the primary blue, but I can. It will be. It will still be a good blue. But I still recommend the raw umber. No, sorry, <laughs> not raw umber. I, why, why am I always saying that word raw umber? So it, I recommend the the tall blue and the primary blue, not the raw umber. It's a different color. So here. So I'm gonna make that a little misty. I'm gonna add some white here make it look misty because the, the sun will be here so this part should be more misty um, I'm gonna put more fog here Now I'm gonna add a near mountain, so I'm gonna put, I'm gonna mix with red to make it um, darker purple, and I'm gonna put it here. 
so we're gonna put the details later because I'm gonna cover in this with with the uh, with the uh, what do you call this with the uh, with the uh, with the tree so um it will be a little um useless if I'm gonna put the details now because uh, I'm gonna cover it I'm not sure we're gonna put what part will be covered but I'm sure that I'm gonna put it here so I think we're gonna put the details later on But for now, we're gonna do the. I'm gonna put the. Um. The colors first. Okay, which is. We call it blocking. Okay. So I'm gonna use some blue and yellow. I think yellow. I'm gonna add a little yellow here. With more blue and white. It will be a little bluish. And I'm gonna put it here. This will be a great plane. So it will be a little bluish in color, but not too blue. Add it a little greenish tone. There. And I'm gonna add some white. So don't worry everyone, uh, we're gonna put the details later on. Those are just the uh, big um, best um, the underpaintings. Okay. Then I'm gonna put some. I'm gonna start adding here. So I'm gonna use the blue, the yellow, and the red. Not too much. I'm gonna put more yellow. Yes, this part should be darker. We can now assure that this part should be dark. I'm gonna put the bluish there. You can use any color as long as it look, it will look dark. So this will be this will be a hill or a little mountain with some cliffs or whatever. I'm gonna put a tree here on the top. I'll see uh, a lonely, uh, lonely tree. Okay, so here I have the umber and the blue. first so we are now done we are now under painting So we're gonna fill this part with the dark color. This will be this should usually be the first steps. There. Okay. 
and now I'm gonna try to add some trees on the background so I'll be using the bristle flat brush so I'm gonna put the yellow first so that you can see now the sun so I'm gonna put the yellow here And then I'm gonna use the blue, the red, and the yellow. More blue to make some darker greens. I thought this is still wet, but I'll just put in some and their paintings there I'm gonna use some more blue stone. Okay, and also here. Okay, so since, yeah, I think I'm done with the underpainting, so since this is still wet, I think I'm gonna let it dry first for at least 5 minutes, and I'm gonna go back and more details. Okay, everyone, so I think the paint is already dry now, I'm gonna start adding the details, so I'm gonna start in this part, so I think I'm gonna block first with, with the tree here, and also the tree here, so before I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna start the, the, uh, adding the details um, um, uh, little by little okay so so if you are painting just follow what I'm doing and always have fun so here I'm gonna use the raw umber first because I'm gonna put a tree trunk here so I'm gonna put a tree here So if you have a smaller brush, you can use that. So here I have the blue and the white. I'm gonna add white to make it a little lighter. And I'm gonna put another tree here. So I'll leave it uh, without leaves because uh, I think I'm gonna put leaves later. And still I need to add the highlights on the background. so. I'll just put this as the guide here.
there so we have now three okay so I think I'm gonna start adding some more details now on the background so I'm gonna put now I'm gonna start adding the, the details on the okay so I'm gonna use the blue and the white for the highlights and add a little highlights I'm gonna put the highlights on the left left side because all my lights coming from the left the sun is on the left too much because I'm gonna just cover that later on so I'm gonna use the blue and uh, the yellow to make some green stone sorry everyone my dog is really nice eh? maybe he have some conflict with a cat with our cat I'm not sure why they are always doing that I'm not sure if they are playing or quarreling okay <coughs> I have here some some excuse me everyone I have here some lighter blue screen so I'm gonna add white here no no uh, lighter blue screen for this mountain to add some highlights look realistic yeah yeah there and I'm gonna add some white and yellow and then I'm gonna put some highlights on the I'm gonna put a white. I'm gonna use this white here. I'm gonna put a river on this uh, great plain so here I'm gonna use just plain white for the river it is gonna be a really big river it looks like a river we can push it in a distance okay there okay 
Now I'll be using some yellow and blue. greenish and white Just a little leaky greenish. Okay. So now I think I'm gonna uh, add first the the highlights here on this mountain. So I'm gonna make it as light as possible. So I use the yellow, green, and white. the tapping and punching I'm just still using the small brush I'm sorry but if there are some noises someone is cleaning upstairs and it's really loud I can hear this on my studio they are loud again okay. And then I'm gonna use some raw umber, yellow, and red to make some browns. I'm gonna add some white. Okay, so I'll be using now the the bristle flat brush, and I'm gonna put some greens here, there. So blue and yellow. It's just a tapping or punching. brush is that it is an it's old brush but 
um, it's the best brush for the foliage or some or the what do you call this? It's good for for grasses or the bushes. I'm a little bluish here. Not so dark, not so light. I mean, I need some white on my palette. We, only, we should always clean our brush and I'm gonna need some yellow I need more yellow here I want this part to be look really glowing so I'm adding some thick paints there here Okay, that looks nice. Yeah. So I'm gonna use some yellow and white now again. And let's start. Adding some backlight here. So we need to put the light color first, especially this one here. yellow and blue so we'll mix some green and then we're gonna start adding some darker green here Yeah, that looks nice. And then the other one, I'm gonna add a little red here and blue. One is one this one to be darker. Yes. Thank you. 
a few I need more blue on my palette. start adding some more trees here to be that perfect okay and then another dark colors for this part for this one Okay, now I'm gonna put some some branches using this small brush, number one liner brush. Using I'm gonna use this raw umber for the branches.
okay and I'm gonna start adding the backlight colors so I'm gonna use this yellow here with some blue to make a lighter green and white I want this to be really glowing in 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 highlights. Okay. And then the other one. And then also here, I'm gonna put something. I think I'm gonna put the sun here on this part. This part should be really glowing white. I'm gonna put a little orange there. Okay, so I think I'm going to put a pathway here. It's just a small pathway here through this part. So a little cliff, but this part should be should remain dark because um, there will be no lights hitting this part here. So it will remain dark. I liked it. I like actually uh, making it dark. Okay, so I will be using a smaller brush. So here, I think I'm gonna use this. Um, number 8 um, and flat brush lang and I'm gonna start with the uh, umber and white so we'll mix it do not make it too light here no that's still too dark I'm gonna add some white it 
lighter. Yeah, that's fine. So we should form our perspective. So objects will become bigger when when it's when it's nearer to you to us. Okay. There. So we can now see a perspective. And then I'm gonna put some cliff here, rocks. brushes first I think I'm gonna refill some yellow on my palette yellow and white so I'm gonna put a backlight highlights on the grasses yeah so I will keep this adding lighter highlights be using this sorry some bristle flat brush blue and yellow here On the on this field, okay. So just don't put too much light on the greens or on this on this part because this will be covered with some shades, so it doesn't hit any light there. So it doesn't have to be that perfectly. It doesn't have to be perfectly look uh, like clean grass, so we're gonna make it uh, look more abstract because that will help. Uh, texture will help it look more realistic. So here. So <clears throat> sorry, everyone, if there are external noises there are people talking <laughs> at my in the background because uh, they are actually cleaning the house so uh, and I cannot I cannot wait for them to finish because I'm 
in a little hurry to do a tutorial for this weekend so I'm gonna need to finish this one even if there's some external noises out there they are busy whatever they're doing probably they're cleaning the house or some visitors tomorrow okay. so here I'm gonna add more greens there Okay, yeah, that looks great. And I'm gonna think, I think I'm gonna need to put some other colors like orange, not just greens, but orange also, yellow and red. Okay. So I'm gonna do my best to make this look more abstract on this part. There you go. I'm gonna put some bluish stone blue and white so I'm gonna make this part a little lighter with some blue stone so there's still blue stone there a little green We need to put also other tones like bluish, not just green. Hopefully, those will create more realistic tone. There. Even if this part is dark, you can still see some details out there. Like the, of course, the plants, bluish plants, the greens, and also the, this, this, um, this, what do you call this? Um, sorry, man. Um, the cliff, the, the browns. So, so we're gonna put on details on the very light, um, on the backlight. So, Sorry, we put the sun here, so it's a backlight. Okay. I'm gonna add blue. Okay. 
So I'm gonna put a tree trunk here. Another tree trunk here on this tree. There. I really, really sorry, everyone. If they are really noisy outside, I even me, I can't concentrate. So I'll be using some blue stone on white to create the sunlight coming from this part here. I'm gonna do it lighter, light. Actually, you should make sure that you're using a dry brush. So we're gonna do it a little softly here. I'm gonna spray the light. Yeah. 
looks nice. I'm gonna use a pure white. I want this part to be really, really bright. more lights coming from that way I want it to be to play this kind of stuff oh, I like that okay so I think I'm gonna add more highlights okay I'm gonna put it Highlights here. So I'm gonna use some yellow and white. So here I'm gonna put some highlights, especially in this tree here. Okay, and then I'm gonna add a little highlights on the on the on the pathway. So here I'm gonna use this blue, blue, amber, white, yellow, and red. number one in the brush yellow and white
We're gonna add a little brownish tone on, this, on the back. These are the what's it called wait, what they call the the bouncing lights. So we're gonna need to put this here. Okay. Okay, now I'll be using the bristle flat brush and some yellow with a little red. I'm gonna add a little light here. Highlights on the Okay. And then I'm gonna use some blue stone. So that I'll just add blue here and then a little highlights on this part. some white then I'm gonna put it here then I'm gonna use some orange a little orange yellow and red to add some dried leaves or whatever it will add tones on the on this tree on the leaves of this tree Okay, so I think I'm gonna need to add more lights here. Just a little lights. And then I'm gonna need to add some tweaks or whatever. So I'm gonna use this light brown here first. So I am now in the process of retouching. That's 
I don't like this brush. <laughs> I need a uh, smaller, yeah, this one. So the final retard, so what I think I'm gonna put some birds there on the center. Yeah, flying. So that will be my final application. So this will just be an easy tutorial everyone. So I don't want to put plenty of details here. So it's, it's actually for the beginners if you if you want to try. So it's still not yet the uh, really complicated tutorial, so it is just a very easy tutorial. And also the guide. Every every tutorial I have is just a guide for you, except for the beginner. So here I'm getting I'm gonna put a bird flying. So make sure that you're using a small brush. So I'm done everyone so hopefully you enjoy this tutorial and keep you can now uh, paint your own landscape like this so this one is look like an angel here. <laughs> okay everyone so I want to say thank you for watching this video today and I hope you get something out of this and my only advice is to keep on practicing keep on painting the more you do it the more you know how to use your brush the more you will know how to mix the colors that's why i'm using limited colors with palette because i want you to learn how to, learn how to mix and get the desired colors you want so please hit like add some comments subscribe for more videos in the future okay once again thank you have a nice day and god be sure all the glory and honor and praises always belongs to the Lord.